Well, he's come up short in his run for the White House. Ron Paul can claim a big victory today. The U.S. House overwhelmingly approved a bill sponsored by the Texas Republican that would expand congressional authority to oversee the Federal Reserve. The legislation comes after more than three decades of activism by Paul, who has pushed for greater transparency at the central bank since he was first elected in 1976. The vote was 327 to 98. Now, sorry to be a buzzkill here, but the audit the Fed bill is going nowhere in the U.S. Senate. In fact, they refuse to take it up. The vote served as a symbolic swan song for Paul, who is not seeking re-election. Paul made auditing the Fed a signature platform of his presidential campaign, and it has become a rallying cry from his supporters. Since the 2008 financial collapse, Paul's economic views has gained more attention, particularly within the Republican Party. And that's not easy for some Republicans to admit. Ron Paul has the nickname in Congress, Dr. No, for usually voting against all financial matters, including those popular within his own party.